Welcome to the first episode of Thrifting Up $1,000 Sneakers. All right, here's what I'm going to do. Most of you might know by now that I've got two types of videos I do. I've got my thrifting videos and I've got my shoe videos. Why not combine them both and include what I do for a living? So here's what the Thrifting Up series is all going to be about. This first installment is going to be about a pair of shoes I want. There's a lot of shoes that have come out. I collect shoes, obviously, for the thrifters watching. And uh, some of them I've never got that are big dollar shoes on eBay that I would like to add to my collection. You've got the DB Foams posits. You've got the Supreme Foam posits. You've got the Jordan 1 Fragments. You've got the Jordan 1 Black and uh, Blues. You've got uh, the Ray Allen 13s. So there's a, there's a lot of shoes, and they're roughly about $600 to $1,000, some a little over a piece. Uh, so my goal is to turn $20 into a pair of these shoes. I'm going to bring you along for the ride. So what I did today is I went out and I grabbed $20 worth of merchandise at a local thrift store. And I'm going to show you what I have bought today in this video. And then I'm going to try to do weekly updates. I'm going to do weekly updates on what the items did at the end of the week, seven to ten days, depending on what I put the auction up for, and uh, how much of money I have grown, if any. It's reality. You never know. So we're we're going to try to do is turn twenty dollars into a thousand dollar pair of sneakers. So with the twenty dollars today, I went out and picked up a few things. So let me show you what I got. Do a little education along the way, maybe. Uh, one type of thing that can't go wrong with is Affliction shirts, especially new with tags. So I've got an Affliction shirt here that I picked up. So we're going to get that listed today. Uh, next up is a Hard Rock t-shirt from San Francisco. World Tour on the back. So we got that. My goal in doing this is inspire people. Uh, most of you know I really I didn't come from anything. I grew up trash picking to uh, help my mom make extra money. And I couldn't afford expensive things. Well, nowadays with the internet and with everything at your disposal, all you really need is a smartphone and you can do what I'm doing right here and, and an eBay account. And it's so easy to, you know, turn nothing into something nowadays. Uh, so that's what I'm going to hope to do and show you along the way. How to do it. Uh, next we've got Garage Sale Goddess. Perfect time for this shirt. It's getting warmer. Garage sales are going to start up. Hopefully somebody's going to snag that shirt up. Uh, what I'm going to do is list all this stuff up for auction first. We're going to do auction. If it don't sell at auction, then I'll put it at a buy it now price. But the goal is to try to turn it and turn it quick. Get uh, what I can out of it. Uh, but as you know with auctions, you never know. And a lot of times you get less than what you can for an item as opposed to putting it up for buy it now price. Because uh, sometimes it takes that special person to come in and they'll pay that little bit of extra for it. Uh, next up we got a Jordan shirt. So black and red colorway, bread colorway, popular colorway. So hopefully that will do well. That was the thinking behind that one. Uh, next here we've got an older Nike shirt, not that old, it's not like vintage, I think that tags, the 2000 tags, somewhere in there. So, but a nice unique colorway. So I'm not too sure about that, we'll see how that goes. Uh, NHL, huge right now, playoffs coming up. The original, class of 1987. Not the original, but... Blues! Will I get a Stanley Cup before I die? I don't know. Probably not. But, uh, so there we go. Alright, so that's all the shirts I picked up. Um, got a few more items here. And I try, I'm going to try to keep it, uh, based on just, you know, different, different types of things. Something you could go into your thrift store and find. I might just do it all at one thrift store. If I decide to do that, uh, I'll, sh I'll get more into that into future episodes. Uh, all this was bought at one thrift store today. So uh, next up we have this one I took a chance shot in the dark on. i uh, got to clean it up a little bit. Uh, it's uh, Andy Dow from Raggedy Ann and Andy, but it's homemade. It's crocheted, the whole thing. So we'll see how that goes. Paid like a buck for it. 
So we'll put that up for auction. See if somebody wants it. Uh, a lot of homemade stuff, you know, something unique. Uh, sometimes people, and Raggedy Ann and Andy, a lot of people collect those dowels. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, next up, we got old Three Stooges dowel. Chef Mo. So get that up. So see, I'm trying to keep a, you know, try to keep a little bit different here and there. Uh, while obviously trying to get the best deals I can, get the, I guess it ain't too much different. <laughs> we just got shirts and plush so far. Uh, next we got a scarecrow with a tag on it. Tags are always good if you're looking for stuffed animals, plush items. So from Starbucks Cafe. So, let's see, get that up. Uh, this I'm going to have nightmares tonight. Did she say scared? Because that's what I am right now. <laughs> what the hell was that all about? Uh, next up, we've got new in a box from 2009. Cookie. Cookie. It's freaking possessed, man. Did you hear that? Cookie. Cookie. Who doesn't love Cookie Monster? Come on now. All right. Next up, we've got. It's kind of cool. Uh, ear protections for kids for Monster Jam. Truck and tractor pulls. What? I can't hear you. What? How loud am I talking? Hello. I can't wait to play that back. All right. Uh, if it's annoying, I'll make sure to keep it in. Uh, and the last but not least, uh, you always look for an item in the thrift store that you just hope is going to be a home run. Uh, all these others, I'm sure they'll make me money. I mean, I looked them up on my phone, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to make money off of them. But you always look for that one item that you take a big chance on. You hope that it's going to turn out to be something great and you weigh your options and decide to buy it well this there was really with me i knew grab it go don't even think about it and i looked it up and there's none like it there's nothing like it up on ebay and what it is it looks like it's a promo piece an item that was up in the store that promoted lego friends the girl Lego sets. Uh, it's wood. Nice circular piece. So if you don't know, Lego's huge. People love collecting Lego. They love collecting Lego things. Uh, the Friends line is a totally unique line for um, catered more toward girls. But hardcore Lego people who like building sceneries and stuff, you know, to, and to me. I mean, I personally... Phew, that means nothing to me. It's just more to the collection of Lego. So uh, I've actually had some in my collection. So hopefully this will be my home run piece. Uh, like I said, I'll put all these up for auctions and we'll see where it goes. And my next video, I will update on how everything's sold. If you want to watch and keep updated on how they're going, you can go over to www.urban-picker.com. That's urban-picker.com and pull them up and watch them. Uh, maybe I'll make a, a envelope or a folder over in the left hand column and I'll put thrifting up video in there and I'll put all this stuff in that folder also. So then all you have to do is click on that folder and you can watch the items and see how they're doing. So kind of an interactive kind of little procedure there and we're gonna work our way up to a pair of my holy grail shoes. I'm not sure which one I want to get first. I guess it depends on how well I do. God, there's so many I would love to have. Those Ray Allen 13s. And then also, too, once I get the money, if I can find them in my size, that's another thing that's going to determine which shoe I actually buy. So uh, there you go. Thrifting Up, Episode 1 in the books. I've showed you what I got. We're going to get it listed today. We're going to get this video listed. Put it up there for you guys to view. Watch the items. 
and play along. So uh, there you are. And if you want any of these items, go bid on them. All right, till next week. Later.